Hello students. Welcome to the class. In this chapter, we will learn advanced skills of internet application. This chapter will cover internet applications, searching the web, introduction, web crawling, web spider, indexing, searching, narrowing the search, email, components of email messages, writing and sending email messages, email folders, chat, Skype, Google Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, blogs and social networking sites, introduction of blog, types of blogs, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, e-commerce, introduction of e-commerce, multiple types of e-sales scenario e-commerce applications online shopping sites cloud storage introduction of cloud storage google drive microsoft onedrive dropbox box growth in internet usage popular internet uses Introduction The Internet facilitates various services ranging from the transfer of files from one place to another. Email, the World Wide Web, chat room, blogging, notice board, as well as a whole range of online services from shopping to entertainment. In addition, thousands of governments, educational and commercial institutions as well as millions of individuals have information that is stored on computer system and can be accessed over telephone line fiber optics cable and satellite communication in this chapter we will read few most important applications of the internet searching the web introduction searching the web is a process of information retrieval the goal of searching the web is to retrieve all the documents which are relevant to a query which retrieving as few non relevant documents as possible searching on the web is made possible by a search engine a web search engine is a software system that is designed to search for information on the world wide web the search results are generally presented in a line of results often referred to as search engine results pages that is SERPs. The information may be a mix of web pages, images and other types of files. Some search engines also mine data available in databases or open directories. A search engine maintains the following processes in near real time web crawling web spider indexing searching referred to as google web search or google is a web search engine owned by google inc it is the most used search engine on the world wide web handling more than 3 billion searches each day the order of search on google search results pages is based in part on a patented priority rank algorithm called a page rank the main purpose of google search is to hunt for text in publicly accessible documents offered by web servers as opposed to other data such as images or data contained in databases it was originally developed by larry page and sergey brin in 1997 bing Known previously as Live Search, Windows Live Search and MSN Search is a web search engine advertised as a decision engine from Microsoft. Bing was unveiled by Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer on May 28, 2009. YouTube Online Video Search YouTube is a video sharing and video search website headquartered in San Bruno, California, United States. The service was created by three former PayPal employees in February 2005. In November 2006, it was bought by Google for 1.65 million US dollars. 
YouTube now operates as one of Google's subsidiaries. To search for videos, go to youtube.com. Simply type what you are looking for in the search bar and click the search button. Results will appear below, just like a Google search. If you want to get really detailed, click the filters button below the search box. Then you can refine your results to search for videos by quality, length or other criteria. Narrowing the search Finding just the right page among the billions on the web requires not only a search engine but also a bit of know-how. Here is a selection of tips for searching the web efficiently. Search for a phrase. To search for an exact, complete phrase and not just its constituent words, put it in quotation marks. For example, Instead of typing at sunrise on my birthday type, in inverted commas, at sunrise on my birthday, the number of hits will shrink dramatically as you'll see only pages that include that exact phrase. Be more specific. Use keywords. If you want to find articles about managing bookmarks in Safari on an iPhone running iOS 7, don't search for just manage bookmarks. Throw all those terms in manage bookmarks Safari iPhone iOS 7. The more information you provide, the more useful your results are likely to be. Try an advanced search. If you want much more control over your searches, such as specifying which geographic regions to search in, how recently created a page should be, or the page's reading level. Go to Google's advanced search page or after performing a basic search, click the gear icon in the upper right corner of the results page and choose advanced search from the pop-up menu. Convert, calculate and more. You can also use Google to find all sorts of information besides lists of web pages. Google can handle calculations. Try 104 star 36.8. Currency conversions, $185 in euros. Time zone conversions, like time in Paris. Weather forecasts, like weather in San Diego. Word definitions, define pedantic and a great many other things. Use another search engine. Even the best Google search won't help you find pages that Google has not indexed. If Google is not cutting it, you have alternatives. Competitors including Bing, Yahoo and Ask.com. These may point you to sites that don't show up in Google because each search engine prioritizes search results differently. The page you are looking for may be more prominent in one than in another. If you get struck, trying the same search in another engine may do the trick. Email Electronic mail, most commonly called email, since around 1993, is a method of exchanging digital messages from an author to one or more recipients. Email operates across the internet or other computer networks. Today's email systems are based on store and forward model. Email servers accept forward, deliver and store messages. Neither the users nor their computers are required to be online simultaneously. They need connect only briefly, typically to a mail server for as long as it takes to send or receive messages. Writing and sending email messages. Email is a great way of getting information to others quickly and easily.
being able to send messages to friends and family at the touch of a button keeps you up to date no matter where in the world you are following steps show you how to send an email using a gmail account however many email accounts or applications follow a similar process for creating and sending a new message steps to send an email message you will need a computer with active internet connection and an email account setup and you are ready to send and receive emails now follow these step by step instructions to send an email step 1 log into your gmail account so that you are on the dashboard that is main page of your mail account step 2 click compose step 3 a new blank email window will open up in the two box type in the email address of the recipient step 4 you might want to include someone else in your email to keep them in the loop you can do this by clicking cc or bcc which will open another field cc means carbon copy and bcc means blind carbon copy Adding an email address to the CC field means that person will receive a copy of the email and all the other recipients will see their email address. If an email address is put into the BCC field, the person will get a copy of the email but no other recipient will see that address. Step 5. The subject field allows you to give the recipient an idea of the topic of your email like a heading you don't have to put anything in the subject box but it can help when viewing and sorting email step 6 email text can be formatted in a similar way to text in a word document you can change the font style color and size using the formatting icons You can also create bullet points and check the spellings of your email. Choose your formatting from the menu shown. Step 7. Type your message in the main body field of your email. Step 8. When you are happy with your email, click the blue send button at the bottom of the compose window. Step 9. The email you have sent will now be stored in the sent mail folder on your Gmail dashboard. You may have to run your mouse pointer over the inbox folder link to see the other folders. Step 10. You may start an email but then decide to come back to it later rather than sending it straight away. Gmail saves your drafts automatically. so you can simply close the email and the unfinished email will be saved to your drafts folder when you decide that you are ready to send it you can retrieve it from the drafts folder by clicking drafts and then clicking the correct item in the drafts folder list finish the email and click on send email folders actually going with our example gmail doesn't use folders to help you organize and sort your mail more effectively gmail uses labels instead because multiple labels can be applied to a single message they are quite a bit more powerful than traditional folders 
following our key folders in email. Inbox The folder where your incoming emails are stored for your reference. Sent mail The folder where all the emails sent via your email account are automatically saved. Drafts A draft folder is where outgoing email messages are temporarily stored. While you are composing a message, most mail programs automatically save a draft of your message in the outbox. The message is then stored in the drafts until it is successfully sent to the recipient. Once the message has been sent, most email programs move the message to the sent or sent messages folder. You can also save messages as drafts and finish them later for final sending. Spam Email spam, also known as junk email or unsolicited bulk email, that is UBE, is a subset of electronic spam involving nearly identical messages sent to numerous recipients by email. Gmail automatically helps identify spam and suspicious emails by detecting viruses, finding patterns across messages, and learning from what Gmail users like you commonly mark as spam or phishing. Trash It is where deleted emails are stored for future review until we decide to empty the trash. Chat. This is another popular form of communication over the internet. Unlike email, mailing list and news groups, chat allows people to converse in real time. On the internet, chatting is talking to other people who are using the internet at the same time you are. Usually, the stalking is the exchange of type-in messages requiring one site as the repository for the messages or chat site and a group of users who take part from anywhere on the internet. Few popular web-based chat services include Skype, Google Hangouts, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp Messenger, etc. Normally, all chat applications are available across multiple platforms like mobile, desktop and operating systems like Windows, Android, iOS. Skype Skype is an application that specializes in providing video chat and voice calls. Users can also exchange text and video messages, files and images as well as create conference calls. Skype allows users to communicate by voice using a microphone, video by using a webcam, and instant messaging over the internet. To download and set up Skype, go to skype.com and download the application. Create your username and password by signing up. Sign in using the login details. The Skype window will appear. Making Skype calls. In order to make a Skype call to someone, the other person should also have Skype and connect it to internet. To call someone on Skype, click the person you want to call on the contacts tab. The contacts information will open in a pane on the right. Click the call button. The call window will appear. You will hear a ringing until the other person answers. Talk as long as you want. Click the end call button when you are ready to hang up. To make a video call. Click the person you want to video call on the contacts tab. The contacts information will open in a pane on the right. Click the video call button. The call window will open. The video from your webcam will appear at the bottom showing what the other person will see when that person answers. The call will keep ringing until someone picks up. The video from that person's webcam 
will appear at the top. If the contact doesn't have a webcam or chooses to answer without it, a profile picture will be there instead. Talk as long as you want. Click the end call button when you are ready to hang up. Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is a communication platform which includes instant messaging, video chat, SMS and VOIP that is voice over internet protocol features. It replaces three messaging products that Google had implemented concurrently within its services including Google Talk, Google Plus Messenger and Hangouts. A video chat system present within Google Plus. Facebook Messenger Facebook Messenger is an instant messaging service and software application which provides text and voice communication. Integrated with Facebook's web-based chat feature, Messenger lets Facebook users chat with friends both on mobile and on the main website. WhatsApp WhatsApp Messenger is a proprietary cross-platform instant messaging client for smartphones. It uses the internet to send text messages, images, video, user location and audio media messages to other users using standard cellular mobile numbers. Steps to use WhatsApp Download WhatsApp for your phone. The app is available on its website and Android Marketplace. Launch the app from your smartphone. Follow the on-screen prompts to create a WhatsApp account that will be linked to your phone number. Allow WhatsApp to sync with your contacts to message people you know with ease. Change your status. Tap status in your bottom horizontal navigation bar. Tap the plus sign in the top right corner to add a new custom status. You can edit your current status by tapping the button under your current status is or selecting a default or previous status from the list below. If you would like to clear your status, tap edit in the top left corner to delete them individually or scroll down and tap clear status to delete them all. Start a chat. Tap chats in the navigation bar. Tap on the contact you want to chat with. You will be taken to a new chat window where you can type a message or press the arrow icon on iPhone, menu icon on Blackberry or paperclip icon on Android, Nokia or Windows phone to share your location, contact, photo, document or video. You may also record a video or take a photo in real time for sharing. You can broadcast a message to many recipients using WhatsApp. You can place a voice call using WhatsApp if you and the person on other end are using latest versions. You can also create a group for group chatting. Delivered and read chat messages display double blue text in front of them. You can also change various settings like background picture for the app. Profile picture, group profile picture, font styles, media download options, etc. Blogs and social networking sites. A blog, a truncation of the expression weblog, is a discussion or informational site published on the World Wide Web consisting of discrete entries, that is, posts, typically displayed in reverse chronological order that is the most recent post appears first a majority of blogs are interactive allowing visitors to leave comments and even message each other via GUI widgets on the blogs and it is this interactivity that distinguishes them from other static websites many blogs provide commentary on a particular subject Others function more as online brand advertising of a particular individual or company. A typical blog combines text, images and links to other blogs 
web pages and other media related to its topic. A social networking service, also social networking site or SNS, is a platform to build social networks or social relations among people who share similar interests, activities, backgrounds or real life connections. A social network service consists of a representation of each user, that is, often a profile, his or her social links, and a variety of additional services such as career services. Social network sites are web-based services that allow individuals to create a public profile, create a list of users with whom to share connections, and view and cross the connections within the system. Social networking sites allow users to share ideas, blogs, pictures, posts, activities, events and interests with people in their network. Types of blogs There are many different types of blogs, differing not only in the type of content, but also in the way that content is delivered or written. Let's discuss the various types of blogs one by one. Personal blog An ongoing diary or commentary written by an individual. Collaborative blog or group blog A type of weblog in which posts are written and published by more than one author. The majority of high-profile collaborative blogs are based around a single uniting theme such as politics or technology. Microblogging Microblogging is the practice of posting small pieces of digital content which could be text, pictures, links, short videos or other media on the internet. Microblogging offers a portable communication mode that feels organic and spontaneous to many and has captured the public imagination. For example, Tumblr, Twitter and Pinterest. Corporate blog. A blog can be private as in most cases or it can be for business purposes. These blogs used internally to enhance the communication and culture in a corporation or externally for marketing, branding or public relation purpose. Aggregated blogs. Individuals or organization may aggregate selected feeds on specific topic or product and provide combined view for its readers. These allow readers to concentrate on reading instead of searching for quality on topic content and managing subscription. By genre, Some blogs focus on a particular subject such as political blogs, health blogs, travel blogs also known as travelogues, book blogs, fashion blogs, beauty blogs, etc. How tutorial blogs are becoming increasing popular? Two common types of genre blogs are art blogs and music blogs. By media type. A blog comprising videos is called a vlog. One comprising links is called link log. A site containing a portfolio of sketches is called a sketch blog or one comprising photos is called a photo blog. By device type. A blog can also be defined by which type of device is used to compose it. A blog written by a mobile device like a mobile phone or PDA could be called a moblog. Social networking sites. We will primarily discuss three major social networking services namely Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. Facebook. Facebook is a social networking website that makes it easy for you to connect and share with your family and friends online. Originally designed for college students, Facebook was created in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg. By 2006, anyone over the age of 13 with a valid email address could join Facebook. Today, Facebook is the world's largest social network with more than 1 billion users worldwide. Facebook allows you to send messages, 
and post status updates to keep in touch with your friends and family. You can also share different types of content such as photos, links and more. But sharing something on Facebook is a bit different from other types of online communication. Unlike email or instant messaging which are relatively private, the things you share on Facebook are more public which means they'll usually be seen by a lot of other people. While Facebook offers privacy tools to help you limit those who can see the things you share, it's important to understand that Facebook is designed to be more open and social than traditional communication tools. Some key public features are listed below. Marketplace allows members to post, read and respond to classified ads. Groups allows members who have common interests to find each other and interact. Events allows members to publicize an event, invite guests and track who plans to attend. Pages allows members to create and promote a public page built around a specific topic. Present technology allows members to see which contacts are online and video chats. Twitter Twitter is an online social networking service that enables users to send and read short 140 character messages called tweets. Registered users can read and post tweets. But those who are unregistered can only read them. Users access Twitter through the website interface SMS or mobile device app. Twitter INC is based in San Francisco and has more than 25 offices around the world. Let's discuss some key features of Twitter. Tweet A tweet is a piece of text no longer than 140 characters. Spaces and punctuation count. Think of it as a blog entry, a bite-sized blog entry. Timeliners A timeline on Twitter is a collection of tweets in chronological order. The public timeline consists of every public tweet made. When you tweet, you create your own timeline that people will see when they visit your profile page. You can see your own timeline by clicking the profile link in the top menu. Every user also has their own unique timeline that consists of the tweets from everyone they follow. It's like your own personal news sticker. You can follow bunches of different people and all their tweets except messages to other people will show up here. Twitter Profile Click the Settings link in the top menu to edit your Twitter profile. One thing to keep in mind is everything in the account section is publicly visible. You can put whatever you like as your name if you don't want your real name to be public. You can put whatever you like as your name if you don't want your real name to be public. Using a headshots as your picture is the norm. Following and followers Following is Twitter's word for subscribing or friending. Whenever you visit someone's profile page, you'll see a little follow button below their picture. Click on that button and their tweets will show up on your home timeline. Following is a one-way action on Twitter. Unless someone has made their updates private, they don't have to approve your request to follow. If they have not turned the feature off, they will get an email telling them that you are now following them. They may well check out your tweets and follow you back if it looks like you put interesting stuff out there. Conversation Direct messages are private. Only the sender and recipient can see them. You can only send them to people following you. In my experience, direct messages are not a good way of communicating. They are often ignored and often used to spam. 
you can see tweets mentioning you by clicking the at the rate your name link on the right side of the Twitter page. To direct a tweet at someone specific begin it with at the rate followed by their username. To let your followers get the tweet in their timeline and direct it at someone just include the at the rate username someplace other than the beginning. Retweets RT Retweeting is when someone repeats someone else's tweet so their own followers can see the original message. The traditional way of retweeting follows a formula. RT at the rate original author content of original tweet which is retweeter's comment. Hashtags Hashtags let you add categories or keywords to your tweet. Using hashtags allows people to aggregate all the tweets on a subject. They consist of the hash sign and a keyword with no spaces. Hashtags are now automatically turned into links to Twitter searches. You'll see hashtags being used for conferences and events a lot. You can follow live coverage of all sorts of things by searching for the associated hashtag. You can track what's going on in a city or state. Or you can tune into a topic. LinkedIn LinkedIn is a business-oriented social networking service. Founded in December 2002 and launched on May 5, 2003. It is mainly used for professional networking. As of 2015, most of the site's revenue comes from selling access to information about its users to recruiters and sales professionals. LinkedIn users create professional, resume-like profiles that allow other site members to learn more about their business background, areas of expertise and groups or organizations they belong to. Once a user creates their profile, they can add other users to their network. The profiles also include options for including status updates that let those in a user's network know what they are working on and when they might be traveling or offer advice when needed. There is also a feature that allows those not signed into LinkedIn to view parts of the profile the user deems allowable. Keep in touch. With people changing jobs so often, LinkedIn gives users the opportunity to stay updated on where those in their professional network are working and how to contact them. Get help. When a user's immediate network of contacts can't help with a business problem, LinkedIn's tools, answers and groups let them connect with experts through trusted introductions. Search for jobs. LinkedIn Jobs lets users search thousands of employment listings with options for filling out applications directly on the site. The application and LinkedIn profile is then sent directly to the potential employer. Hire new employees. Hiring managers can use LinkedIn to find the candidate with the specific skill set and necessary experience. E-commerce or electric commerce. E-commerce or electronic commerce refers to the buying and selling of goods and services via electronic channels, primarily the internet. Online retail is immensely convenient due to its 24-hour availability, global reach and generally efficient customer service. E-commerce businesses may employ some or all of the following. Online shopping websites for retail sales direct to consumers, providing or participating in online marketplaces, which process third-party business-to-consumer or consumer-to-consumer -consumer sales. Business-to-business, -business, that is B2B, buying and selling, gathering and using demographic data through web contacts and social media. Business-to-business -business electronic data interchange. Marketing to prospective and established customers by email or fax. 
for example with newsletters engaging in retail for launching new products and services types of e-commerce setup let's discuss the types of e-commerce setup one by one pure click or pure play companies are those that have launched a website without any previous existence as a firm bricks and clicks bricks and clicks companies are those existing companies that have added an online site for e-commerce click to brick online retailers that later open physical locations to supplement their online efforts e-sales scenario there are multiple types of e-sales scenario business to consumer b2c in a business to consumer e-commerce environment companies sell their online goods to consumers who are the end users of their products or services usually b2c e-commerce web shops have an open access for any visitor and user business to business b2b in a business to business e-commerce environment companies sell their online goods to other companies without being engaged in sales to consumers in most b2b e-commerce environments entering the web shop will require a login b2b web shop usually contains customer specific pricing customer specific assortments and customer specific discounts consumer to business c2b in a consumer to business e-commerce environment consumers usually post their products or services online on which companies can post their bids a consumer reviews the bids and selects the company that meets his or her price expectations consumer to consumer c2c in a consumer to consumer e-commerce environment consumers sell their online goods to other consumers a well known example is ebay m commerce mobile commerce m commerce that is mobile commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services through wireless handheld devices such as cellular telephone and personal digital assistance that is pdas known as the next generation e-commerce m commerce enables users to access the internet without needing to find a place to plug in e-commerce applications let's discuss the most common e-commerce applications one by one retail and wholesale e-commerce has a number of applications in retail and wholesale e-retailing or online retailing is the selling of goods from business to consumer through electronic stores that are designed using the electronic catalog and shopping cart model a cyber mall or e-marketplace attracts the customer and the seller into one virtual space through a web browser marketing data collection about customer behavior preferences needs and buying patterns is possible through web and e-commerce this helps marketing activities such as price fixation negotiation product feature enhancement and relationship with the customer finance financial companies are using e-commerce to a large extent customers can check the balances of their savings and loan accounts transfer money to their other account and pay their bill through online banking or e-banking another application of e-commerce is online stock trading many websites provide access to news charts information about company profile and analyst rating on the stocks manufacturing e-commerce is also used in the supply chain operations of a company some companies form an electronic exchange by providing together buy and sell goods trade market information and run back office information such as inventory control 
This speeds up the flow of raw material and finished goods among the members of the business community. Auctions Customer to customer, C2C e-commerce is direct selling of goods and services among customers. It also includes electronic auctions that involve bidding. Bidding is a special type of auction that allows prospective buyers to bid for an item. Online shopping sites. With people becoming busy in their work and commitments, they are left out with only a little spare time. In addition, with wide availability and usage of smart devices, people find internet as the easiest medium to meet their requirements. This has given immense popularity to some popular online shopping websites in India. And these websites are flaunting best deals to lure buyers. Online shopping offers fast, easy, money-saving and interesting shopping experience. It has many advantages like 24 hours shopping, shopping with coupon to get discount, shopping from home, rich product availability and specifications etc. Let's discuss the top online shopping websites in India one by one. Flipkart.com Now also own Mintra. Founded in 2004 with only rupees 40 lakh. Now turned over 60,000 crore company. You can not only buy books online through Flipkart but also mobile phones and mobile accessories, laptops, computer accessories, cameras, movies, music, televisions, refrigerators, air conditioners, washing machines, clothing, footwear, accessories, mp3 players and products from a host of other categories. Flipkart is largest player of e-commerce of India. Amazon.in World leader in e-commerce market recently started operation in India. Now we can buy books, CDs and electronic at cheaper price from Amazon.in. Snapdeal.com Snapdeal offers everything from local daily deals on restaurants, spas, travel to online product deals. They offer you best price with free shipping. Paytm.com Started with mobile recharge and bill payment website based on mobile e-wallet concept. Now Paytm is selling everything from home decor, clothing, laptop to mobile at killer prices. In very short time period, Paytm has grown very fast and able to come under top 10 Indian online shopping website list. Jabong.com Jebong Fashion and Lifestyle Store offers you great discount on all listed products. They offer a wide range of products from apparel to home needs. Cloud Storage Cloud Storage is a service model in which data is maintained, managed and backed up remotely and made available to users over a network, typically the Internet. Cloud storage is a model of data storage in which the digital data is stored in logical pools. The physical storage spans multiple servers and often locations and the physical environment is typically owned and managed by a hosting company. These cloud storage providers are responsible for keeping the data available and accessible and the physical environment protected and running. People and organizations buy or lease storage capacity from the providers to store user, organization or application data. Cloud storage services may be accessed through a co-located cloud computer service. A web service application programming interface that is API or by applications that utilize the API such as cloud desktop storage a cloud storage gateway, a web-based content management system. Google Drive Google combines a complete set of office tools with cloud storage in Drive. You get a little bit of everything with this service. 
including a word processor, spreadsheet application, and presentation builder, plus 15 GB of free storage space. If you already have a Google account, you can already access Google Drive. You just have to head to drive.google.com and enable the service. You get 15 GB of storage for anything you upload to Drive, including photos, videos, documents, Photoshop files and more. Uploading files and folders. It's easy to upload files from your computer to Google Drive. If you are using the Google Chrome web browser, you can even upload entire folders. To upload a file. From Google Drive, locate and select the new button. Then, select File Upload. Locate and select the file of files you want to upload. Then click Open. The files will be uploaded to your Google Drive. Depending on your browser and operating system, you may be able to upload files by clicking and dragging a file from your computer into your Google Drive. To upload a folder, Google Chrome. Click the New button, then select Folder Upload. Screenshot of Google Drive. Locate and select the folder you want to upload, then click OK. Screenshot of Google Drive. The folder and the files within it will be uploaded to your Google Drive. Microsoft OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft storage solution. Those who use Windows 8 and 10 have OneDrive built into their operating system, where it shows up in the file explorer next to all of the files on your computer's hard drive. However, anyone can use it on the web by downloading a desktop app for latest Windows or the OneDrive, Android, iOS, Windows Phone and Xbox apps. Dropbox Dropbox is a favorite in the cloud storage world because it's reliable, easy to use and a breeze to set up. Your files live in the cloud and you can get to them at any time from Dropbox website. Desktop applications for Mac, Windows and Linux or the iOS and Android. Box. Anyone can sign up for a free individual account on Box. But the service's endless list of sharing and privacy features were built specifically for business and IT users. Beyond the basic cloud storage setup, where you can store just about any kind of file, Box lets you share files with colleagues, assign tasks, leave comments on someone's work, and get notifications when a file changes. Growth in Internet Usage The number of Internet users in India is expected to reach 402 million by December 2015 a 49% jump over the last year, making India home to the largest online user base after China. According to a report released by the Internet and Mobile Association of India, IAMAI and market research firm IMRB International, India, which has the third largest Internet user base in the world after China and the US had about 350 million internet users in October. By December 2015, this number is expected to overtake US to 375 million users, the report said. China currently leads with more than 600 million internet users. Active internet users in rural India are expected to reach 117 million by December 2015 and 147 million by June 2016 on the back of growing penetration of mobile phones in the country. The contribution of mobile phones as the main internet access point in rural India has grown to 60% in 2015 from 38% from 38% in 2014. 
the usage of common service centers to access internet has reduced to 6% from 26% a year ago. IAMAI KPMG estimates that there will be a total of 500 million internet users out of a total population of 1.25 billion in India. In India by 2017, up from a current number of about 375 million. According to the report, the number of mobile based internet users in two years will be 314 million. Popular Internet Uses Let's discuss few examples of popular internet based activities. Listening to music, using music database platforms. Websites like Ghana.com and Savan.com offer a huge database of Hindi songs. You can visit the websites and listen to the music of your choice. Stream radio music stations online. You can also stream traditional radio music stations online by searching for a specific radio station on Google or by searching Internet Radio on Google. There are sites that host radio music stations for free, allowing you to listen to radio programs that play music. Keep in mind, you cannot customize the playlists of these radio stations, but you can select different radio stations based on the genre or the radio show host. Online Banking Almost all of the banks today are offering online banking services. You need to register for internet banking. You can log in through the bank's website and avail many bank services online like fund transfer to other accounts, view account balance, generate account statements, check book request, etc. B book movie ticket. You can book movie tickets online using the movie theaters website or popular websites like Book My Show. Go to www.bookmyshow.com. Select your region. You can search for a movie using the search option. You can view the list of all movies being screened or you can view the list theater-wise if you know the name of nearest or your preferred theater. Click on movie name. List all theaters screening your movie will be displayed with showtimes. You can click on the preferred showtime mentioned against the desired theater. Select number of tickets you want to book. Seat layout will be displayed with seat numbers and categories. Select desired seat numbers and click on proceed. Amount payable will be displayed including convenience fees charged. Click on proceed. Enter your email address and mobile number. Various offers can also be availed. Select payment option from the various options available. After successful payment, you will receive an email and SMS with seat numbers and a PIN. Show the message at theater ticket window. You will receive a physical ticket from there and enjoy the movie. Watch TV online. You can watch online television using various websites. For example, using www.starsports.com. You can watch various sports matches online, that too live, with a delay of few minutes only. Similarly, you can watch Archtak online using the link archtak.intoday.in. Similarly, you can watch Archtak online using the link archtak.intoday.in slash livetv.html Similarly, there are many websites that you can search using Google. Recharge or pay bill. There are numerous websites which are offering recharge 
and utility bill payment services in addition to the service provider website. For example, you can recharge your Airtel prepaid or postpaid mobile number using Airtel website or you can recharge using the popular recharge websites mentioned below. Free Charge, Mobivec, Paytm. Online Education Register on popular MOOC websites like Coursera, Udemy, EDX etc. Search the course of your interest. Check the schedule of the course. You need to devote few hours every day to learn regularly. Similarly, there are many educational channels on YouTube. You can search the topic of your interest on YouTube and you will find many lectures from top universities or schools. Khan Academy also offers educational material for school students and it is also bifurcated class-wise. Online Job Applications You can apply for various jobs as per the website specified by the employer. For example, in order to apply for various jobs advertised by Rajasthan government, or RPSC, you can visit RPSC website rpsc.rajasthan.gov.in slash apply online. Glance through the latest active online applications and recruitment advertisements. Application fee payment can be done through any of the eMitra kiosks throughout the state or through eMitra online portal. A token number will be provided by eMitra kiosk operator or the online portal. Enter the token details on RPSC online application portal and validate. Fill the various fields of the online application form. Follow the instructions on each screen. E-shopping. There are many popular websites for online shopping. Let's learn how to purchase a product online. Suppose you want to purchase a 16 GB pen drive. Let's see how to do it. Go to www.flipkart.com or any other website like www.amazon.in, www.snapdeal.com etc. For second-hand products, you can use websites like OLX, Quicker etc. Enter pen drive in search box. While you type, it will also give you suggestions. Enter your PIN code. You will see list of pen drives in order of relevance. You can sort it in order of price, popularity or new products. Also, you can see on the left side various filtering options. Select 16 GB capacity and brand of your choice if required and sort in order of price. Click on the product or product name. Check specifications. Click on add cart if everything seems ok. Go to the cart. Estimated price will be displayed. Click on place order. Follow the instructions. Enter your shipping address. Select a payment method. You can also opt for cash on delivery if you do not prefer to pay online. Product will be delivered as per the details displayed.
search online property using websites like 99 acres and magic bricks you can search for various properties available for sale or rent in your locality you can visit the websites enter the details of the property required with various filter options available on website search and navigate through the various options displayed you can also contact the broker or owner of the property Thank you. 